Hey everybody, the Super Vader 400 here, Douglas Blair Roberts, and of course Mr. The Fanboy here, back for another video and review, and as you can see by the title above, this is my review and small rant on what I consider to be one of the greatest wrestling pay-per-views of all time and definitely one of the greatest pay-per-views of this year and that was the very spectacular TNA Impact Wrestling Slammiversary 2018 pay-per-view that took place July of this year. This is my late out-of-date review of that momentous event and boy was it an awesome event i saw it live on live on wrestling dot watch wrestling dot uno and it was awesome it was so awesome i had to wait hours i had to wait hours for the um replay links to be uploaded to the um website that's the first reason i didn't review the show when it happened the second reason um, the second reason I was doing various videos and kept putting this video off and on, kept putting this video off and on. The third reason was there was so much action on this pay-per-view. This pay-per-view was just hard to call. So I decided to do a short review of the event. They do a short review of the event. Then do later, then, then on my, on, on my Mr. The Fanboy channel, do do review the review the fights individually review the fights individually and on my Mr. the fanboy channel and this short review will be on my super beta 400 channel and my brand new fan page um yeah but like i said like i said this was an awesome show i only have a problem with a couple of things which i'm going to be talking about in the narration portion of this um review with that being said, let's get this review started right now. Everybody, Super Vader 400 here, Douglas Blair Roberts here, and of course, Mr. The Fanboy here, back for another Impact Wrestling review. And this time we're reviewing TNA Impact Wrestling Slammiversary 2018, which, like I said, this is part two audio narration version of that review. And once again, just like I said in part one, this was a phenomenal show, despite the lackluster card in my opinion yeah in my opinion this pay-per-view as awesome as it was it was not as good as impact wrestling redemption but this right here was still an awesome um event the venue which was which was the rebel Com rebel entertainment complex in toronto canada toronto canada and of course um the intro package the intro package i keep forgetting the guy's name but he's hugely popular who does the packages and and all the matches were great the only problem i have yeah this is also a short rant 
The only problem I had with this show was um, professional wrestler, my least favorite professional wrestler on the Impact r roster, Rich Swan, was advertised for the X Division four way in the beginning, but for some odd reason he couldn't make this pay per view. So at the last minute, they put in Petey Williams. Petey Williams should have been in this match from the get go. Rich Swan, in my opinion, hadn't done anything in Impact Wrestling. He is a WWE reject. He's my least favorite on um, the roster. And it sucks that on several episodes, Petey Williams had the job, job to him. But I'm glad that Petey Williams found his way onto this show. Onto this show because the first match of the night, which was... Um, which was the X Division showcase match between Johnny Impact, Phoenix Star, Taiji Ishimori, and Petey Williams. And boy, was it an awesome fight. Too much action to call. But I've watched this match over and over again. It's one of the best X Division matches of all time, man. I still like the Brian Cage one from Impact Wrestling Redemption more. But this right here is a close second. Close second is a close... Um, Second, each man performed well with Petey Williams, in my opinion, being the MVP of the match. Um, Tessa Blunker defeated Ali in a pretty good um, match. Don't really care much for the knockouts division these days, but that was pretty good. Eddie Edwards defeated Tommy Dreamer in a phenomenal hardcore, house of hardcore, um, house of um, hardcore match. Lots of excitement. Lots of excitement in this match and lots of um, cool spots and love at the end, the passing of the torch. After Eddie Edwards defeated Dreamer, the passing of the torch was Dreamer giving his kendo stick to Eddie Edwards. One of the best matches of the night, and that was Brian Cage defeating Matt Seidel for the X Division Championship. My only problem with this match is I was mad at how easy this was for Brian Cage, that it was, um, that it was clean, that it was... Um, clean, fair, and square. I expected Jimmy Jacobs and Congo Kong to have some kind of interference in this fight, but that didn't happen. Sue Young defeated Madison Rain for the Impact Knockout Championship. Who cares? The Latin American Exchange, Santana and Ortiz with Conan defeated OGs, Hernandez and Homicide in a awesome 5-51-50 street fight for the Impact World Heavyweight Tag World Tag Team Championships. And one of the other best fights of the night, and that was Pentagon Jr. taking on Sammy Callahan. I was mad that these two were forced, in my opinion, especially Pentagon Jr. to work the mid card. Pentagon Jr. losing his heavyweight championship kind of turned me off to Impact Wrestling for a couple of months. But man, this mid card feud has been awesome. And this hair versus hair fight did not disappoint. And I was surprised to see I didn't know who was going to win because um, I'm pretty sure they were not going to take off Pentagon Jr.'s mask. And I didn't see them cutting Sammy Callahan's hair, but they did. They did. They even tried to have Sammy Callahan try to get out of the bet, try to get out of the match stipulation by attacking Pentagon at the end. But Pentagon and Phoenix caught up with him, caught up with him, caught up with him, beat up Ovi, 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 um, Ovi, Ovi, and, um, Shave Sammy Call Shave Callahan's hair. The main event, Austin Aries versus Moose. Another awesome fight, and Austin Aries won as I um, wanted to. I actually predicted that Moose would win, but I wanted Aries to win. But I was disappointed at how Aries won. It was clean. It was clean against a guy the size of um, Moose. Um, I expected Aries to have Killer Cross involved somehow involved somehow but this was a setup to something else down the road down to something else even better down the road for moose so um yeah so yeah like i said pretty good pay-per-view the only problem i have is the booking is the booking on this pay-per-view the fact that pd williams was not automatically in the x division showcase at the beginning the fact that the both of the x division and world title matches were both clean and yeah, and other wrestlers like Eli Drake, Desmond Xavier, and I'm going to be ranting on this, Zima Ion and Andrew Everett were nowhere near this pay-per-view. But we had a match for Rich Swan, which he ended up missing, being forced to miss anyway. So, 
Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a rant, an imp a, a rant on all of the the misulation of talent um, this year. Look at where those guys were: Desmond Xavier, Desmond Xavier, even Ishimori, who was on his pay per view as the Bone Soldier. What was the point of him becoming the Bone Soldier on this pay per view when his push and everything about him in TN Impact Wrestling is the same? In New Japan, it makes sense because he was one of he was one of the top. He's part of the top heel stable Bullet Club, but. Here he's the same, and I'm, as much as I love Bone Soldier and Impact Wrestling, tight regular Taiji Ishimori was way better. But um, yeah, these are the problems I had with Impact Wrestling Slammiversary. Other stuff I love about this pay per view is these were my opinions. I love the critical reception, which this pay per view got even wider, wider, widespread critical acclaim from various own critics, even bigger than Impact Wrestling. Redemption, the previous um, the previous pay per view, it received from not only critics but fans a lot. A lot of people consider this to be the best, one of the best shows of this year, and it was one of the best shows of this year. I still still think Impact Wrestling Redemption is probably the best M TNA pay per view of 2018. But this is a close um, this and BFG is hard to choose is a close um. Is a close um second. I would probably choose this because this had um while BFG probably had in my opinion a better main event. This had a much better um card. This had a much better card, so I'll probably choose this and BFG would probably be third best. But um yeah, an awesome pay per view, and I will be reviewing some of the matches from this um pay per view. That's why I didn't go into detail on each match. Well, I'm done for now. I'll see you guys later. Like police, gonna use my fist like police.